Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Celebrating Act 2. Art and I are with our favorite television expert, Herbie J. Pilato. Herbie, good to see you again. Hey, Herbie. Hello, 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 Art and John. <laughs> Herbie, uh, you're a producer. You've been a performer. You've been an entertainment executive. You get your own television show, then again with Herbie J. Pilato on Amazon Prime. And you write for the Emmys. Is it Emmys.com? The, the TV the Academy. Academy and Emmys.com. I write a, a regular feature about classic uh, TV shows. Well, classic TV shows is the, what we're here for. Right, Art? Uh, yeah, and I'm going to date myself a little bit here. I know that, uh, Herbie J., you're a historian, so that uh, the young man that you are, uh, I know that you have researched a lot of stuff. Uh, unfortunately, I've lived through a lot of stuff. And <laughs> one of the things I seem to remember are um, uh, when they were, uh, right now they have pilots at uh, any time of year uh, for a lot of things. But back in the day, they had summer replacement series where they would try out a new act or a new team or a new show to replace a regularly scheduled uh, show during the, uh, the, the fall of and spring. And one of them I seem to remember was a, uh, a little known couple. Uh, maybe they, they were known for their, their vocals, Sonny and Cher. Mm. I think that was a summer replacement series, was it not? It was a summer replacement series. And that was, I mean, the networks always had those kinds of shows. Um, you don't have that today, but back in the day, there were, ABC did it a lot with a, a comedy special called the, the Copycats of that era. And Sonny and Cher, yes. The Variety Series was becoming a big deal. Um, again, Carol Burnett was terrific. I mean, she did it the best. And, and Sonny and Cher kind of like split her into two people. And it was unique because they had this banter, Sonny and Cher. You know, Sonny Bono really created Cher as a, as a personality. And, and he was willing to, to take her jokes and to take her put downs because that was, he knew that was gold. And when those two got together and did those intros at the beginning of their show, I mean, they had their music following um, that kind of laid the groundwork for, for their popularity. And CBS just took that to the next level with, with their own comedy variety show. And it was just, it was just tremendous. And it was because of Sonny and Cher that, you know, Tony Orlando and Don had their variety show. And Captain and Sunil had their variety show. I think the Jacksons even had a summer variety show for a while. So the, the world, become a, a music star and then get a variety show. That, that kind of seemed to peak with Sonny and Cher. You know, I particularly yeah. uh, enjoyed on their show, and I think it was unique to them, is that they, they did these, uh, uh, although Laughing had a lot of bright colors and things, they made cartoon. They sort of brought cartoon uh, or comics comics that that would be what it is uh, to like yeah. with those the sharp colors and uh, uh, I always find that one of the most enjoyable parts of their show yeah yeah they did uh, Carol Burnett did that with you know her animated uh, character at the beginning that was became her logo essentially um, and Tracy Allman would years later do that on the Tracy Allman show because the Simpsons was actually part of the, the Tracy Allman show before it spun off into the mega bazillion um, series that it is today. But Sonny and Cher, yeah, mm -hmm. they, they included all their little, they, they included animated skits, but still the thrust of the show was comedy, live comedy and, and drama. And then when they were having marital issues, which was traumatic for everybody at home as well as for them, they split up and Cher did her own series on CBS. Sonny did his own show called the Sonny Comedy Review on ABC. Uh, both shows really did not do any, did not do well. And so Sonny and Cher decided to come back to TV together, even though they were divorced. So you had the Sonny and Cher Comedy Hour. Then that was over. You had Cher, the variety show. Then he had the Sunny Comedy Review, and then both of those shows ended. And then Sunny and Cher came back to CBS with the Sunny and Cher Show, not the Sunny and Cher Comedy Hour, 
which before the, they split up, but the Sonny and Cher show. And it just wasn't the same. The magic of, I mean, the put downs now, before, you know, Cher was putting Sonny down when they were married, and now she was putting Sonny down after they were divorced. <laughs> Yeah, it was a different feeling, wasn't it? A little yeah, mean, it, it, a little mean. Yeah. It wasn't it quite was. as much fun. Yeah. No. But, you know, that's the rule of showbiz. Never let love get in the way of business, oh, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we can't make it on our own. Hey, I don't care about the divorce. Yeah. Let's get back together. Although yeah. that, 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 that full evolution, I think, uh, paid off to Cher's uh, benefit because the last show, I seem to remember, was featuring her more as her independent uh, uh, qualities, which I think then move, got her into the movie, movies and uh, nightclub uh, acts by herself. So uh, she took off, and and uh, then he became a congressman. Yeah, yeah, and then uh, yeah, con or the mayor of Palm Springs and right. a congressman. Right. And I think he had a restaurant in, in somewhere in between there. But when he passed away, you know, which was very traumatic in that horrible, I think, ski accident, Cher. The, I think she became the first major celebrity to do an on-camera eulogy at, I believe, whatever church he belonged to in Palm Springs. And she didn't have any makeup on, and it wasn't a polished uh, performance or uh, appearance or anything like that. It was just this little church, and someone had a camera. And after that, after she gave that eulogy, it then became an in thing for celebrities to talk about, um, in, to give big eulogies in front of, 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 of the world and CNN and blah, blah, blah. At least that's how I remember things going. So it was either way, it was all very, it came to a very sad ending because uh, Sonny and Cher were really a dynamic couple as a business, as performers, a dyna dynamic couple as lovers. And they had a tremendous amount of talent. Certainly Cher went on to soar beyond anything that, you know, she became with, with Sonny, but she would not have been Cher had it not been for Sonny. Yeah. And she, and she knows now, that. Is there, were they a breakthrough in any way? I mean, they weren't the first variety show. Um, did, I, I remember them as uh, uh, very stylish and uh, not only did they have great costumes like Carol Burnett would would have, um, but and they the would same, do a same, lot of... Yeah, the same wardrobe guy did both. Yeah, um, and uh, they would do a lot of special effects. Uh, Chroma Key, where Cher yeah. would be talking to herself and that kind of thing. Yeah. So they were very, it was an innovative show, without any question. But did they break any new ground uh, as a variety show, or, or were they just the next generation? Well, I mean, her wardrobe broke. <laughs> I mean, you know, she <laughs> you know, a pretty risque wardrobe. Yes. A very, true. very low neckline and backline and, you know. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think that the comedy was innovative and um, on, on edge more than Carol Burnett, I think, at the time. So, yeah, I'd say they broke ground. Yeah. yeah. Actually, they weren't. Uh, they weren't exactly Burns and Allen, you know. They were. They Burns yeah. and Allen with with uh, with uh, songs and skits and low cut dresses. Well, Burns <laughs> and Allen, you know, that was like a show within a show. Yeah. You yeah. know, it was with the false wall. Talking yeah. Across the false yeah. wall. Yeah. Yeah. Which Mary Tyler Moore tried to do after the Mary Tyler Moore show. She tried to do that show within a variety show thing and it didn't work. So because people are too smart, you know, by this time or, or too hip. And that is the key word when it, when it comes to Sonny and Cher, they were hip, you know, yeah. they were the young generation. They were the sixties grown up and ready to bloom in the seventies. And all the people who loved them in the sixties grew right up with them. And they were so excited to watch them now become these, these major TV stars. Yeah. And Cher is still with us. God bless her. God Keep bless singing her. and dancing, Cher. She's Thank amazing. God Vegas. Yeah. She's amazing. We love her. Well, I, I think that's where we should leave it with a tribute to Cher and a good remembrance for Sonny. He was, he was a showman. He was a showman. He was a good sport. He was a genius businessman. And he loved Cher. And she loved him. 
And yeah. they, hey, they never hated each other. It was just time to move on for both of them. Yep. And they always respected each other. Herbie, thanks for all of this. Terrific conversation and great Thank memories. You. Thank you, guys. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.